So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how we can take something as simple as a mesh plane and begin to develop a mesh component from it. This is really the power of working with meshes coupled with subdivision surfaces, is that the mesh can be something very low res, very simple to work with, but it does not necessarily limit you in terms of the aesthetic, the level of smoothness, or the complexity of what you can ultimately achieve. So what we're going to do is we're going to manipulate our simple primitive um, a couple times in order to begin to deform it. Now, in doing so, we'll need to understand uh, a couple of hotkeys or kind of modifiers in Rhino. Now, if you're using Rhino 4, this will be different because Rhino 5 has some new selection methods. Um, but if you're using Rhino 4, we'll also show a workaround for how to do that. What we're going to do is hold down Control Shift. With Control Shift held down, you can click on your mesh. And I'm going to click right in here, um, kind of where there is a face, edges, and a vertex. And you'll see that um, I got edges that I just selected. I have here um, a vertex that I selected. And if I click here, a face. So let's try that again. I'm going to do, here's an edge, an edge, a face, or vertice. Uh, or a vertex, rather. Now, you can also use uh, Control-Shift and your right selection. That just selected all the edges here, the vertices, and the face. So the selection method, again, is Control-Shift, and then choose the element that you'd like to, uh, to manipulate. Now, just to prevent uh, the kind of destruction of my original mesh, I'm going to copy this guy up. And let's give this a shot. Let's select Control Shift, select a face. With my move tool, I'm going to move this face up. All right, not too bad. I'm going to copy this one more time. I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to select these faces and move them up. All right, looking pretty good. Let's make one more copy. And this time what I'm going to do is select edges. So I'm going to pick... Um, little pinwheel selection. Now I'm going to move these up. So you can see, using the mesh elements, uh, if you want to try one last one, let's try moving some ver vertices. Um, again, to select the vertex, you can hold down Control-Shift and select here. You can also select your mesh face and turn on control points, P-O-N. Now with those selected, all right, you can select some vert vertices here. Go ahead and move those. Right, and you can see that you can start to, to edit your mesh quite easily. I'm just going to move this guy over and kind of focus on this guy for a moment. So we can see that the edges here, right, were moved up. 
And that, that created in section this, this kind of uh, angle here, uh, kind of flat edge here, and it's alternating um, as we move around uh, the, the mesh component. Well, we're going to just hang out here for just a couple of minutes so that you guys will have a little bit of time to experiment with, um, you know, selection methods with the mesh and then um, beginning to manipulate it. We'll try a couple of things while we're um, hanging out here. I'll just pick a couple of vertices and try moving these guys. And so you can see by moving the vertex instead of the edge, this middle face uh, remained uh, where it was. Try moving this guy as well. And again, here you can see that um, the faces, right, which are these kind of quad basic elements of the mesh, um, can be manipulated by selecting them, holding Control Shift, or you can use Control Shift to manipulate edges um, or vertices. Now, where we're going with this is taking a look at how we can begin to harness the power of the subdivision uh, techniques um, by using a low-resolution mesh primitive here on the left and then smoothing it using Weaverbird um, on the right. Now, for the sake of, uh, I guess you could say, uh, nomenclature, uh, I'm going to call this my primitive mesh from here on out. Okay, so this is my, my mesh primitive. Okay. Whenever I start to smooth it, I'm going to refer to that as my subdivision surface. So let's jump over to Grasshopper. I'm going to save this file. I always save um, my files with an underscore W. Um, that's uh, to indicate working so that I don't uh, destruct my uh, uh, original uh, reference file. And I'm going to close this and go to open. 